Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 bringing you another match on Remnant Springs, this time between Elliot N in the 12 o'clock position and Shaka in the 6 o'clock position. At this point, both players are going for a perfect start, so I don't know what races they're going to be playing, but we'll find out shortly. So it looks like, see here, okay, Elliot N is playing CISO and Shaka is also playing CISO. So both players are going for CISO. Shaka looks like he's going for a more. Whoops. Seems, okay, Shaka has paused, so I don't see what orders he has put on. But Shaka is going for a very economic build, while Elliot N looks like he's going for a slightly less economic build. He only has 3 RPs at the start. He has still 150 LC, though he is doing stuff further in the past. Okay, he is also going for an economic build, so both players are going for 6 RPs to start. No one's going for an importer or anything early on to try to do anything aggressive. Looks like Shaka is going to be going forward with his special off to attack, and Elliot N is also going forward to scout, so both players going to scout. It looks like Elian actually is sending a marine to his natural. You see, just follow the line. Yes, he is sending a marine to the natural, and so he's probably going to be expanding as well, so Elian looks like to be going for a quick expansion, while Shaka is going for a slightly more aggressive rush with his basic infantry units, so he's probably also expanding himself slightly. At this point, neither player is going for anything particularly aggressive, anything particularly exciting, so unfortunately there isn't much for me to talk about, so I will do my best to talk about nothing as excitingly as possible. No, apparently not. Okay, that's not going to work. But, we do see that, okay, it looks like Shaka has built an importer. So Shaka has an importer coming up. He should probably either get a factory soon, or he's going to get more infantry. And, like I said before, he does have a special op coming in. Looks like these three are actually going in for a combined attack. Or at least going to expand safely, in case he gets attacked. While Elliot N hasn't actually gone forward with this expansion yet. He does have two importers, however, so it looks like... Yes, he's also getting infantry, so Elliot N is going for an infantry rush, probably a fairly small one, but he is still going for an infantry rush. While Shaka is going for an expansion, he's getting a factory, he's getting an importer as well, a second one that is, and he is probably going to be building up some resource processors here fairly soon. Yes, so he has a Q-plasma resource processor coming up, and Elliot N at the same time is building a factory as expansion, and soon will be building a resource processor of his own at Liquid Crystal. So, at this point, both players are going for a fairly aggressive but also fairly safe economically builds, and this will soon come out pretty quickly. So it looks like Shaka is going for heavy infantry as well. So both players are getting a lot of infantry. Both players are getting fairly early factories. Both players are getting quite a few importers, though at this point Elliot has a couple more importers. has three more resources, three reserves, while Shaka at present has none. And, or I should say, at this point in the recent past has none. At present, I don't know what they have. Elliot is the only one currently at present. And as it stands, it looks like Shaka is going to be a bit more exploratory with his units. He's not actually building a whole lot for offense. He's building a bit more just defense, making sure the natural is not being taken, make, but also just checking everything else. So it looks like both players going for fairly similar strategies. The fast expansion, but still having some military, still having some economy, fairly even builds. Neither player does seem to be going for any tech at this point. They're just trying to get... Oh, never mind. My mistake. Actually, Shalka is going for ground units, so his infantry are going to be a lot stronger, and at this point, though, he doesn't have machinery as far as I know, so he's not going to be able to get... He's not going to be able to get any advanced units like tanks or tornadoes, but he is going to be able to get much stronger infantry than he would have had otherwise. At this point, Elliot is sending in a Lancer, so the Lancer from Elliot is coming in, attacking the armor or attacking the resource processors of Shalka, so Shalka's resources are being harassed slightly. The Lancer is not going through the base to attack too much yet, and a Marine, or sorry, a Mech is coming in. The Mech will make short work of this Lancer, so, actually, it looks like Marines are also coming in. Will make also short work of this Lancer, or will be coming in as soon as the next time wave comes along. Both players have gone further back in the past. I'm just going to follow them to it, see what exactly they're doing to counter this. Looks like Shaka at this point has continued to build infantry, while at the same time he is sending a Mech to take care of this Lancer. One of the infantry, or one of the marines is done already, another marine is coming, so both marines should be attacking the Lancer fairly soon. Making short work of it, and at the same time, his infantry are going to be attacking Elioden's base very quickly. So, at this point, Elioden has a mech, very good against air, but not good against infantry. And the infantry are going to be destroying this Lancer very quickly. So, one marine left has destroyed the Lancer. The marine, quite well done defending the base, while at the same time, infantry are coming in with the Lancer as well, harassing Elliot N's base, so both players are harassing each other very quickly, very rapidly, very typical of CISO, very rush-oriented race in a lot of ways, very offensive, and we can see it right now. So the Lancer's coming in, harassing the resource processors, and now harassing the 
while harassing the marine, protecting the importers while the importers are being destroyed. One of the importers is going to be going down, so Elliot then has lost one importer at a minute in the past. He's doing some stuff at a minute and a half in the past, so I'm not sure. He may have changed something. Looks like at this point, no, the importer actually has been lost sooner than it was before, unless he hasn't built it in the first place. It looks like, no, it looks like Elliot has never built it in the first place. He decided to abort constructing that importer. So that importer was never built, but it was destroyed in one timeline at least. At the same time, there are a bunch of infantry coming in to the side. The Lancer's coming in to try to defend, but it probably won't last very long. The Marines are going to make very short work of it. And the Marines have destroyed it, so the, the factory is still being attacked. The factory will probably be defended by the units coming out of it. The Marines are not very tough. But at the same time, there is still resource processors being attacked top. And player two, Shaka, it has a resource advantage right now in Liquid Crystal. While Elliot does have a small Q Plasma advantage, but it's not going to be that useful right now. He doesn't have the tech to take advantage of that. Shalka ha is building a macro fab, going to be taking advantage of his resource advantage quite a bit. Has four importers to Elliot's two. Still has his factory up, still has units coming up, still has his Lancer going, that's harassing the resource processors, has killed a resource processor. Wow, this is going really well for Elliot for Shalka, that is. Elliot is taking a lot of damage. He's doing something in the present, I'm not sure exactly what. He doesn't have chrono porting or any or gate tech or anything. He does have a cloaked ATHC, but that's not gonna be doing much good yet. He probably builds it later earlier in the past and goes into attack, but he hasn't built it yet. And it looks like Another Lancer coming in. So this Lancer, I believe, yes, this is the Lancer we saw before coming in and attacking. While well, Shaka is doing more stuff in the past. He is taking advantage of his resources. Bit, gonna go back to where we were. So this is when we were before. The macro fab is being constructed. Elliot's base is under heavy attack. A Lancer is coming in, dealing a lot of damage to all the resource processors. All the resource processors are tagged and not doing anything. So Elliot is gonna be falling behind very quickly in resources. And an ATHC has come. So this is the ATHC coming in cloaked. It should do a lot of damage. Elliot then will be able to get out of this unless Shalka knows about it and actually counters it. He may be getting machinery. I'm not sure. He does seem to be getting a lot of infantry. He does not have tech yet. So he doesn't seem to have any detectors at the moment. Except for the special ops. But the special ops seem to be all dead. He doesn't have any tornados. He doesn't have anything else coming in. So at this point, he just has marines and lancers. And this ATHC will be able to destroy them all very quickly. Shalka will need to respond to this if he wants to be able to continue his assault. At this point, though, he does have have a huge advantage over Elliot, and he has completely crippled Elliot, and Elliot will not be doing a lot of damage. Oh my goodness, he's actually built an armory. Okay, I'm gonna go back and... Okay, it looks like Elliot has surrendered to this attack, so thank you for watching. Have a good night.